Hola a todos. I hope this video finds you all doing well today. Um, I always just like to make a little introductory video to uh, introduce myself to my students and to let you know that, hey, there's a real person back here teaching your class. Um, uh, so just to give you a little bit of information about myself, um, my name is Matthew Harrison. I am from Kingsport, Tennessee, and I've been studying Spanish for about 15 years. Um, it is my passion and love in life. Uh, I love teaching Spanish, and um, I'm very, very grateful to have the opportunity to be here with all of you this semester at Tusculum. So um, I've given you a few things here. This obviously is beginning Spanish 1, so this class is designed for someone who does not know a single word of Spanish yet. You have never learned Spanish, or maybe you took it in high school and you just don't remember Whatever your situation may be, this is an introductory course. So we will start at the very beginning with the alphabet and work our way into words and then into sentences and into paragraphs and into whole papers and that kind of thing. So we'll, we'll uh, take it slow in baby steps, as slow as we can in a seven-week class, that is. Um, so that being said, I am making this video a little bit early. I'm sending out some stuff to you a little bit early. So if you want to get started early, you totally can. Uh, you can see the official dates of our course here are Monday, October the 5th through December the 5th. Um, as I said, my name is Matthew Harrison. You have my cell phone number here. If you need to contact me, please, at any time, do not hesitate to call. Um, you also have my email address. If you need me, email is generally the best way to get in touch with me. Um, I put on here that I'll give you a response within 48 hours. I try to give you a response in 24 hours or less, always. Uh, I know I hated those professors in college who never got back to me, and I had a question, and I felt like I was out there in cyberspace waiting, so I will try not to do that to you. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm here to help with whatever you need. If you do find yourself in a situation where you need to talk more one-on-one -on -one and you want to Zoom, um, my office hours are Mondays from 4 to 5. This is just a specific time, but I can really meet with you pretty much any time. If you just email me to set up a time, I'll send you a Zoom link, and we can meet whenever you need to. As I said, this is um, the first of a sequence of courses designed to prepare you for your Spanish. Um, this is the textbook we'll be using. I've given you a picture of it here. Um, you actually do not have to purchase a physical copy of the book, uh, but you do have to purchase what is called MindTap. Uh, MindTap is the system that we're going to be using for all of our assignments this semester. That's where you'll submit your homework. It's where you'll do your quizzes, um, that kind of thing. We'll still be using Canvas, of course, uh, to organize our work, but uh, MindTap will give you immediate feedback on the practice activities and tell you if you need to you know, correct something or that kind of thing. So all of our homework will be done in MindTap and our quizzes. So um, I have given you some instructions on how to get into MindTap. And actually, if you look on our Canvas site, you can see here there's two things. There is a uh, Tusculum Red Shelf instructions. And if you scroll down, you will see Red Shelf eBooks here. And that's how you get to our book, and there are directions step-by-step step telling you what to do to register it and that kind of thing. Um, and you'll need a registration code. That can be found here in the second document where it says MindTap Registration Instructions. And um, if you open it, it's really easy to see. It gives you a link you click on, um, and it should take you straight there to pay and get everything that you need. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know. Please do go ahead and get the book. Uh, this is Tuskill, and this is our first semester using Red Shelf. I've used MindTap for many years and never had any trouble, but I um, have never used Red Shelf, so it's a first-time integration. So please start early just in case you have any trouble. Make sure you work that out. But um, MindTap is easy. Like I said, um, click the button to register. If it does ask you for a registration code, you can see that here on the syllabus. I'll put it in red so you can see that's the code that you'll need. Okay. Um, so please do make sure that you go ahead and purchase um, the textbook with MindTap and all that good stuff. Um, the good news about this, it'll ask you when you're buying if you want to buy a one semester access or if you want to buy a multi-semester. If you think you might want to go on and take Spanish 2 or Spanish 3, then go ahead and get the multi-semester and you won't have to pay again. We'll use the same book for those future Spanish classes. So if you think you're just doing it for a semester, just buy the one semester access. But if you think you might stick around for much longer, then go ahead and do the multi-semester. Okay, so um, as we continue moving here, um, if finances are a trouble and you're not able to purchase the book right this very moment, I do have a free trial that I can share with you that's good for three weeks. 
So I definitely want you to go ahead and get started ASAP working on your assignments, okay? Um, it tells you here that you need reliable online access. You need the ability to record your, record your voice and the ability to record your face. Um, so I want to be able to hear you talk and I want to be able to see you. So there will be some uh, speaking activities in Spanish where I ask you to record um, your face and that kind of thing as you talk. So just uh, please do make sure that you have the ability to do that. If you have a smartphone, um, you know, Snapchat, <laughs> uh, you're going to be perfectly fine for videoing and audioing and that kind of thing. Um, we'll be using an app this semester called Flipgrid that is a lot like Snapchat. It'll ask you to use your camera and your audio and that sort of thing. So I'll talk to you more about that in a bit. But um, so finally, again, just in summary, you need to go ahead and get the textbook as soon as possible, um, which comes with your MindTap access. Make sure you get logged in there. Here's the course key if you need it. Uh, you will need audio and video recording capabilities and the ability to Zoom. We will use Zoom for our final oral interview at the very end of the semester. And like I said, for office hours if you need it. Um, I've given you a few things here that are all free. Uh, WordReference.com is a great Spanish-English dictionary if you ever need to look up a word. Um, do not use Google Translate. Okay, You need to use um, a formal dictionary like WordReference.com in order for it to be correct. Um, I've also included a Quizlet here if you want to study any of the vocab words. And then there's a, the Colby.edu site is great for grammar. So those are just there as resources if you need them. Um, as far as how your grade will be determined in this class, you will have uh, five chapters that we cover here in Spanish 1, chapters 1 through 5. Uh, every chapter has a series of MindTap homework activities, and those are averaged to be 25% of your total grade. Uh, you do have unlimited attempts on all of the homework activities in MindTap, and I'm going to show you in just a second um, what those look like so that you know how to access them and that kind of thing. Um, but they do average to give you 25% of your grade, unlimited attempts, so do the best you can on those. You'll have a quiz for each chapter as well, um, and your quizzes are also 25% of your grade. Midterm and final, both worth 10% each. You'll have two compositions that you write throughout the duration of the semester. These are like very short, I don't want to say an essay because they're not an essay. It's like a, a, a paragraph or two about a certain subject in Spanish. Um, you do have a Flipgrid discussion for every chapter where I give you um, several questions in Spanish, usually less than five, and you just have to respond to them in Spanish. They are a participation grade, so if you do them, you will get 100. But I do reply back to your video and tell you, hey, you know, you could have said this differently, or this word's actually pronounced like that, or whatever it may be. So that's there to help you. And um, those Flipgrid discussions are there to prepare you for your oral interview at the end of the semester. So if you've done all your Flipgrids, uh, you can view my feedback, study those questions. Those are the same questions you'll have on your oral interview. So um, it just kind of gives you some preparation for that oral interview. Okay. Um, so as I said, the MindTap activities are your homework. I want to show you MindTap really fast. If you just go to Cengage.com slash MindTap, uh, I will put a link to this in, in Canvas. I already have actually. Um, it's here in the announcements. My computer is being slow. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Uh, accessing the text. It gives you a, a quick link to MindTap where you just click on the button and it'll take you here. But once you're here, you'll sign in. Mine looks a little bit different than yours, obviously, um, being the instructor. But um, it just asks you to sign in. So I'll do my M. Harrison at Tusculum. I have my password saved because I can't ever remember that. <laughs> um, okay. Loading, loading, loading. Uh, so like I said, this is the site where your textbook is housed. This is the site where um, you'll be doing your homework and your quizzes. Um, I have to scroll down under courses, click on Spanish 101. I'm not sure if yours looks like that or not. I think it does, but Spanish 101, you'll click on it. And it opens up. This is actually our class in MindTap. And I have everything open to you, by the way, on day one. So you can work as far ahead as you'd like. Um, I recommend using this week view here, the one that looks like a little calendar. And it breaks it down for you. These are the assignments you have to do in week one. These are the ones you have to do in week two, week three, week four, so on and so forth, all the way to the end. They're all here. Um, so if you click on the little, uh, I call this a carrot. <laughs> click on the little carrot. 
It shows you all the activities you have to do. Now these look like a lot. These will not take you very long. Um, most of these activities you can complete in a few minutes. So these will go fast. That being said, this is a seven week class. So uh, you can expect it to be very fast paced with quite a bit of work. Um, but hopefully it won't, won't kill you or anything. So um, you can see all your activities are listed here. Should be very simple to complete those. Um, so if you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, your quizzes and all of those things are listed in here as well. Uh, for example, here when we get to the end of chapter one, you can see uh, all of your quizzes. I will be going through and averaging your quizzes. So these are all very short. You have a total of uh, six quizzes for every chapter, two vocab, uh, and then four grammar. We'll average those six quizzes together to give you one grade in Canvas. So it should be pretty simple. Um, that's how that works. Let me go back here to my syllabus. So that's where your mind tap and your quizzes are. Uh, the midterm and the final will both take place in Canvas. Uh, you'll be able to click over here where it says quizzes. And you'll be able to see your midterm and your final here. Um, so that's where you'll access those. Again, all this stuff is open to you. So work as far ahead as you'd like in the seven week time period. Your compositions um, are basically just short writing assignments that you're gonna be completing about a certain topic. Uh, I do give you the ability to submit them for free non-graded feedback up to three days before the due date. So if it's due on Sunday at midnight, you can email it to me sometime on Thursday or Friday. I will take a look at it, give you feedback, and you can make corrections and submit it. So really there's no reason you shouldn't get 100 on these compositions, right? Again, um, online translators are prohibited in the world of Spanish and foreign language. Google Translate is considered to be plagiarism. So uh, bad things can happen with that. Uh, you know, you can get an F in the class, have to repeat. It's not a, good, not a good situation. So I always tell my students, I would much rather see you write the most horrible paragraph in Spanish that I know you wrote on your own with zero help, and I will give you a way better grade than the zero you're gonna get if you use Google Translate. And students always say, well, Mr. Harrison, how do you know if I'm using Google Translate? I promise you, I can take one look at your paper and see if it's been Google Translated. <laughs> so please make sure that you're doing your own work um, and you're not using a translator. Um, your discussions for this semester will take place on Flipgrid. And um, I've given you a link to our Flipgrid site here. I'm just gonna open this here so we can see it. Uh, Flipgrid is kind of like Snapchat. Uh, you can use Flipgrid on your computer or you can use it on the app. There is a free mobile app. I strongly, strongly recommend the mobile app. I think it's way easier to use. So if you have a smartphone, just download Flipgrid. It's a free download. Uh, it'll ask you for our code, which the code is uh, the little part after the slash here. I've tapped it here for you in parentheses. So it'll take you straight to our course. And once you're there, you can click on View Topics. All five of our Flipgrids are already here. Uh, there's the introductory one, and there's one for chapter two, three, four, and five. As I said, these are a completion grade. So if you just do them, you're gonna get 100. This is just to see how you're doing in the class, to see if you need any help. And it's to prepare you for your oral interview, which will use these same questions. So for example, this is the Flipgrid you're gonna be doing your first week. Um, and it gives you all of your questions here, all five of them. You're answering questions one through three in Spanish. They're asked in Spanish, you're going to answer them in Spanish. You're uh, answering questions four through five in English because they were asked in English. So, for example, number one asks you, ¿Cómo te llamas? Which is, we're asking here, what is your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? You're going to respond by saying, me llamo, and your name. So I would say, me llamo Matthew. We're asking you, ¿de dónde eres? Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? You're going to answer using, soy de, I am from, and then wherever you're from. So, me llamo Matthew. Soy de Kingsport. I'm asking you here, ¿Cuál es tu programa de estudio? What is your program of study? You're going to answer by saying, Mi programa de estudio es... So I would say, Mi programa de estudio es español. Uh, you're going to go through and just tell us that part. You can say your major in English. That's fine. I know you haven't learned those yet. Um, and then just tell us something interesting about you. You know, what brings you here? Um, do you have family? What are your goals in life? What do you want to do? Um, that kind of thing. And number five, what brings you to Spanish? Um, are you here because you have to be? Is it a requirement? Are you here because you just want to be? Um, 
why are you here? So we're interested to hear that in the introductory post. To make your initial video, you just click on the little red button here, um, it will, or you can click record a response, either one. Uh, make your video. At the end, it asks you to take a selfie uh, for your uh, screen photo, and then all everybody's responses will appear here in little boxes, and you can see everyone's response. And feel free to interact with your classmates there. This is, again, just a speaking practice opportunity. Uh, as I said, these Flipgrids are completion grades, and I'll be replying back to you on every video and telling you, hey, this was really good, hey, work on this, and you have things to prepare for your oral interview. Uh, your oral interview will be Saturday, November the 28th. Please go ahead and mark your calendar for that day. Uh, there's a Google Doc here where you'll sign up. You just click on the Google Doc. It takes you straight here. And I've given you a series of times uh, on Saturday starting at 9, going all the way through, uh, I think, 12.30, 1 o'clock, something like that. Yeah, 1 o'clock. Uh, you're just going to put your name and then give me your phone number. I will give you a Zoom link closer to time that you'll use, and you'll just click on the link, and we'll be there in the meeting together. So pretty simple. Um, the oral interview will last about 5 to 10 minutes, and again, it's using all those questions that you've seen throughout the semester in the Flipgrid. Don't stress. Don't stress about that. By the time it arrives, you'll be ready for it. Okay. This is the grading scale that we use, um, pretty standard Tusculum grading scale. Remember, if you do want to go on to Spanish 2, you do need to get at least a C or higher in this course. Um, as far as late work goes, I generally don't accept late work since the class is open and it's you know ready to go. You can work ahead as far as you'd like. Uh, but I do understand right now um, it's a fast-paced class. Things happen. So talk to me if you need to turn to them in late. Okay, uh, as I already said, don't use Google Translate, no plagiarism. If you're a student with a disability and you need some kind of accommodation, please feel free to talk to me. I'd be more than happy to help with you. Um, if you need tutoring, we do have Spanish tutors, um, and you can email tutoring at tusculum.edu to set up an appointment for that. Um, inclement weather is not an issue in an online class. Um, I do want to remind you, this is a 100% online class, so there are no face-to-face -face meetings that are required, uh, whether in person or virtually. There are no meetings required for this course. Uh, if you do have a question, again, I can Zoom with you anytime. We can email. But there are no, um, no required meetings. Again, all your homework and quizzes will be found in uh, MindTap, and everything else is in Canvas. Uh, I was showing you Canvas a second ago. You can see a copy of our syllabus here, your MindTap registration instructions. And then I have these little modules for every chapter that I've just called Helpful Links and Info. And um, every little drop down menu, it has more information on things. So I've included a video lecture for you here where I've, uh, I know we, since we don't have a face-to-face -face class, I made videos to help you with every single topic in the class. Please watch those videos. If you watch them, uh, they have little practice activities in there where you pause the video and work out a practice activity and then you keep watching. These will save your life, okay? They're wonderful. Please watch them. I think you'll find them to be very helpful. Then after you've watched the lecture video, if you're having trouble with something in particular, like, gosh, I just can't remember my alphabet in Spanish, you have another link for things below that to help you. So these are here to help you. I recommend after you watch the video, just watch these, explore them, and then do your assignments. You will do 10 times better, okay? Um, here are links to all the Flipgrids. They'll take you straight there. Um, your oral interview, I've already posted the practice questions, which are the same questions you saw in your Flipgrids. Uh, again, that Google Doc where you sign up for your appointment that day. And then here's the grading rubric that I used to grade you for your oral interview. The compositions we were talking about, um, I've given you information on how to write accents. So in Spanish, you might have to do an A with an accent, an E with an accent, an I with an accent, so on and so forth. It tells you how to do that on this little document, no matter what kind of computer you have. It'll show you how to write accents. The prompt for your first composition is here. This is where you'll turn in the final version. Same thing here. This is the prompt for your second composition. This is where you'll turn in the final version there. Okay, uh, I do want to remind you that um, this is a seven-week class. So normally in a fall or spring semester where we have 15 weeks, I tell students to spend about five to ten hours a week on our class. Um, since this class is only seven weeks, uh, you can kind of double that time. So I'd recommend somewhere between 15 to 20 hours a week that you are devoting to our class. That being said, some people learn faster than others. Some people it may not take 15 hours. But that's just a general rule of thumb. Just try to allot the appropriate amount of time. 
okay? Uh, there are things that you need to be doing. Make sure you're studying. Make sure you're watching the YouTube videos. Again, those will really help you. Make sure you watch those. Do your activities in MindTap. Do your quizzes. Do your assignments. I recommend the MindTap activities. Doing those on a daily basis. Um, so, you know, you see all these activities. If you try to do them all in one day, it's going to be so overwhelming. So, you know, don't wait till Sunday. Uh, if you know you have 30 activities to do this week, um, you know, do five a day or something. And then give yourself one day off. So it will make it way less overwhelming. You'll learn a lot more that way. Um, so yes, that is that. Um, I do send you weekly announcements that I post over here in Canvas under announcements. It also will send you an email automatically when I post an announcement. So you will have that to help you with whatever you need. Um, okay. The very end of our syllabus has a tentative course calendar, and I follow this religiously. So it tells you exactly what you're supposed to do every week. Again, you may work as far in advance as you'd like, but you do have to meet the deadline. Everything is always due on Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. So for week one, everything's due on Sunday, October the 11th by 11.59. And it tells you what you're doing for every week. You see uh, everything's pretty clearly laid out. I've told you here when to start your composition, when to turn in a rough draft, when to turn in the real composition. I've given you your dates for your midterm, um, everything there. And I've broken it down also into a day-by-day -day calendars, telling you what to do each day. So uh, if you're the kind of person you like to take it one step at a time, here's what you do on October 5th, October 6th, October 7th. It goes all the way through to the end. So you can follow that doing one thing a day and not get overwhelming. So that's something to consider. Okay, um, let's talk about this first week, just so you make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, first thing you need to do is um, get familiar with Canvas. Go ahead and purchase MindTap. Get in there. Uh, submit your syllabus acknowledgement. Uh, that's the first thing here. The course enrollment agreement. It'll make you do that before you can see anything else. So just agree. You understand you're in the class. You have to complete your assignments, that kind of thing. Uh, watch this welcome video. Boom, that's easy. Introduce yourself in the Flipgrid that we talked about earlier. If you click on the link, it'll take you straight there. Um, you don't have to reply to any classmates or anything like that. Just make your initial video. Read these pages in your textbook. Uh, if you're wondering where the textbook is, again, here in MindTap, over here on your right, you see where it says Full Book. You just click on that, and it tells you here exactly what pages to read in Chapter 1. Watch the Chapter 1 YouTube video. It gives you the specific minutes you have to watch. You're not watching the whole thing this week. In the second week, you'll watch the rest of it. But here, you're just watching through the 33-minute, 37-second mark. And then you're doing these activities in MindTap. Um, those are all listed, again, up here under Week 1. They're all there for you. Okay? So that's what you're doing for Week 1. Um, again, uh, after you've watched that YouTube video, which is hyperlinked, you can just click on it. Uh, it is also listed here the top of your chapter one link. So if there's anything you need help with, watch those things and feel free to email me, schedule a Zoom meeting, whatever helps. Okay. I hope this video has been helpful to introduce you a little bit to our class. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you.